Welcome back, everyone, to new game playthrough with Ludus Infinium. Sorry, I keep forget. I had to move the camera just the way the room is set up. I do apologize. For that's me switching it back and forth, and saying some getting used to. But anyway, so today I got an, a special treat. This is a game I found um, in my recommended list on stream. It is in early access, and it is Medieval Dynasty. So this is actually uh, this and Valheim do a lot of the same thing. So just to show you real quick, I am going in with the. Uh, with the standard settings so this is how I would assume the game is meant to be played um, so yeah let's let's just dig right into it as I stretch my thumb let's see if it even loads there we go so again this is an early access it is on Steam I have put a few hours into it. I used to have a simple life. Whatever needed doing around the farm, I'd do it. <laughs> Just to Being test it out. Son, it's tough. Asshole. But at least we had a living. And our plates were never empty. Then, the war came. Oh no. I lost everything overnight. The last thing I remember is father pushing me away, yelling for me to run, to live. At first, I didn't know what to do. Then, I remembered. A story my mother once told me. A story about my uncle, Jordan. Jordan. He made a modest fortune up north, in a peaceful valley far away from the war. For weeks, I held on to that thought, until the valley from my mother's stories, I could see it. This is where I can start a new life. So that was really cool. Um, so I did put a few hours into this, uh, once with the regular settings, once with kind of the sandboxy settings, just so I can get the, uh, the building down and stuff like that, just to try and learn the different aspects of it individually. And now I feel comfortable enough to be able to record it. So uh, let's see. Uh, let's see how this goes. Hopefully, well. Uh, so far, my first impressions of it. It's actually a really fun game. I haven't gotten too deep into the uh, city building yet, but hopefully, that will be something that will happen in this. Uh... Oh, good. OBS does not like competing with this, apparently. Um, so now I have three games for new game playthrough that I can alternate between. Because honestly, with Cyberpunk, with the audio glitch that I'm getting, is kind of um, it's kind of irritating me a little bit. So uh, at least with two weeks in between it, hopefully it should get itself, uh, if not fixed, it'll at least toned down for having to do it every week and then I can do this in Valheim you know alternating with uh, Cyberpunk but now let's just talk about because this is actually really nice for early access this is actually quite beautiful hello there is no dialogue hey stranger what brings you to our valley you don't look like a merchant or a pilgrim uh let me know about my uh, uncle Eorden. Ah, yes. He told me about his life on the river. You came to the right place, but a few years too late, I'm afraid. Why that? Well, <laughs> typo. Why that? What happened to my uncle? He was a great man, even better friend, uh, Rasimir. As a good craftsman and an excellent trader, he made a small fortune here. See that tavern over there? He built and ran it, as well as many other shops you'll find in the valley. My mother told me he got wealthy in the north. I had no idea how wealthy, but that doesn't answer my question. Your uncle got himself killed, my friend. He had this idea of a huge trade with the German kingdom in the west. Five carts filled with the best iron ore, beautiful color linen, and our excellent beer. Pulled by ten oxen. He was not following around. I could tell you that much. So what happened? How did he die? Ambushed by bandits. His carter slaughtered. He must put up a good fight. Took two with him to the death. From what we saw, we searched for him. I buried him myself, or better... 
I buried him myself, or better, what the wolves left. Oh, I am sorry for the bearer. I am sorry to be the bearer of such news. Uh, don't say that. I wouldn't let a nephew of Jordan go to waste, even if most villagers forgot fast what they owe your uncle. I have no intention to join him here. I'm the castellan, and my word still carries weight. So tell me, can you build your own fortune? I can craft simple tools. I can collect my necessities from the wilderness. I know how to count and to barter. That's good enough. I may not have goods or gold to offer, but you can have as much land here as you want. Not sold, but granted to you for life. Build a house, grow vegetables, keep some livestock, and follow your uncle's dream. Are you serious? My own land? As much as I want? <laughs> oh, greed is setting in. As much as you put to good use, my boy, and as long as you can pay your taxes. Wait, what? You can cut down trees about your house. Reed grows by the river. Work well for a roof. Do you have some food with you? Not much. No, sir. You will find several vendors in that village. If you don't have any money for food, you can always look for mushrooms in the forest or hunt animals. Sure, you can talk to people here or in other villages. Maybe someone will pay for your help. Thank you so much for the advice. It's time for me to find the right place. Let me see. I have something special for you. This is the hammer your uncle used to build a house in which he grew old. What better tool could you use to build your first time here? Thank you very much. See you next time. So this just lets me know the different um, the different menus. So first thing, we need to go collect ten sticks, two stone, one stone axe, and cut down five trees, which we'll end up needing more, uh, twenty straw, and then we will build our first house. So let's look for stone first, because stone is going to be... Stone has always been the one where I have a couple of issues finding it just because of the color palette. And it's not really the game design's fault, it's just that I'm half fucking blind as it is. So finding it can be a, uh, a massive pain in the ass. Oh, oh wait, no. Ah! I press the wrong button. Alright, so I'm starting to get hung. Okay, there we go. That's two stone. Now to collect sticks. I have collected sticks. Now, we go to craft. I am making an axe. Nope. That's what I want. Down two. Okay. So what uh, you do have to build it uh, at least a small distance away from the villages, and I did find a place that I really like that's actually pretty scenic, and that is where I am going to build my house. And I will come back for the straw. And my stamina is running low. So I am going to build it over here on the shore. Whee! I'm actually, um really impressed with the physics because I don't know how big uh, the studio is that's doing medieval dynasty but I am very impressed with the uh, physics of Kingdom Trees Whee! until it gets to that part <laughs> it um I don't know how hard that would be to program, but like if it were to, uh, ooh, feathers, if it were to just kind of like fold like the, cause when you do cut it down and on your first cut, you do get sticks kind of, I'll, I'll actually show you. So it goes poof. So when you cut it, it cuts off all the limbs and you get sticks, which I really do. I, I like that. Then when you cut it, it separates it into logs. Which is something I really like the way they did that. Um, I am now over encumbered. More stone. 
So what I'm going to do, since I'm over encumbered and I plan on building my house right there. Oh, God. Actually, let's do it this way. No, this one. Building, houses, small house. You can't play, ah, motherfucker. Aha. You can't place the object so close to another village. Uh, let's put it here. <clears throat> and one of the things I also really like can I oh that is cool I didn't know I could do that uh, oh that is pretty damn awesome so no wait no This is actually something I didn't know I could do. So I'm actually, um, quite, this is actually me experimenting a little bit. And this is going to be a fucking expensive house. And then this one will be the last one. I wonder if I can change the roof. Uh, that's cool. Wooden tile roof. Oh, I need planks. Oh, so I can only do thatch roof. Okay, so one. One, two, three, four. So that would require three, four requires, uh, 24. Okay. How many loves do I have? <laughs> this is going to be expensive right there. I have six. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh, I actually really like that. Well, time to get my ass busy, I guess. Thank you. So sometimes this happens. That was an impressive display of balance. I cannot run again. So what I'm going to do Okay, I think I see now. Oh, 
I was really confused there for a minute. I was like, <clears throat> sticks weigh more than logs. That doesn't seem right to me. Damn it. But something else I do like is this is kind of a peaceful game. Which is a nice change of pace for me. derping. So this one is probably going to take me a little bit longer than to build the standard house because um, I didn't know that was an option. That's actually pretty cool. Extraction. I can't move. I can't move. Um, um. All right, let's go back to over here. Let's go ahead and drop this. All right. I can barely move now. <laughs> um, so like I said, one of the things I really do actually enjoy about this is at least starting out, it's really peaceful. I haven't gotten too far into the game yet, so I really can't say about later game. Uh, I know hunting kind of sucks for me, <laughs> so that's something I'm not honestly looking forward to. Alright, so now I need five more logs now. Uh, one, five, nine more logs. And before I do, I need food and water. Okay, the sticks are still there. Cool. Yay, we're making progress. That should be enough.
I need one more log. Son of a bitch. Of course I do. We As I just pick up everything I can. Let's go to here, drop our sticks again, and stone. And it was that one. Now time to go get 24 uh, straw. Real quick, uh, there we go. Extraction knowledge, treasure hunter, let you recover half your resources when destroying building modules. I think I'm gonna go with extraction knowledge and survival, survival knowledge, insensitive, bigger resistance to poisoning. Just go with the, uh, cause then I get the survival sense, which gives me the ability to sense mushrooms, feathers, and herbs. I need 24. There we go. Now I can finish my house. So yeah, um, like I said, one of the more interesting facets for me was that I didn't know I could change the, uh, the uh, type of walls. Oh shit, I made short. Well, my bad. I can't count, apparently. There we go. Mm-hmm. Now those mushrooms really didn't do shit, did they? Oh shit. Okay. So now what I can honestly do Is 
just come in here. Let me, um, let me do what it wants me to do real quick. I can build a knife. A beer. And put the rest of the shit in here. I need ten sticks. Um, real quick. Let me put that on three. Actually, let me... So, in this game, seasons are only three days long, which... You know, video game logic, sure, why not? Three, two... Come on. So each day lasts approximately a half an hour. That seems like overkill. I mean, hilarious overkill, but overkill nonetheless. Alright, so the last thing we'll do in this video is this here. Nope, not that. As I look at my feetsies. That way I can do this. Where is roasted meat? There it is. Okay, let's eat that. Shit. Alright. And let's get. And we are back up to full food and full water. Uh, next episode in three weeks I might do a hunting trip so um, yeah that was that was medieval dynasty that was surviving my first day I hope you all enjoyed uh, if you did uh, actually you know what which game do you enjoy most do you enjoy this do you enjoy Valheim or do you enjoy cyberpunk 2077 let me know in the comments section but um, I actually, I enjoy all three, but I get more fun, honestly, out of this one in Valheim because I do kind of like the survival aspect. And I think I'm actually going to enjoy this one more than Valheim because there's a real community building aspect where you can build up a community of NPCs. That being said, I'm going to uh, leave it here. I hope you all have a very wonderful day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!